Welcome back guys, Dr. Sonachan here with your dose of fail, playing Will. I don't remember the rest of the name, I just remember the beginning of it's Will. So, last episode I ended off starting these double letters, and this kind of music has got me worried about what these two letters are going to be about, and plus, over hovering over Lee Wynn's letter I said, oh god, please help me, so I'm a little worried. It had been ten years. I have been cursed since the incident. Every time I picked up my paintbrush, my mind would start tormenting me, wreaking havoc. For ten years, I hadn't been able to paint anything. I was suffering, and I deserved it. By now, I had spent all my savings, yet I was still alive. A friend was kind enough to set me up with a teaching job at a high school, teaching an art class. I would start tomorrow. You would start tomorrow? Why did it change? It wasn't particularly well paid, but for someone who had been living without power, water, or heat in his apartment, it was like a burning pit in charcoal in the middle of a blizzard. I really was, uh, I was really grateful to my friend. Ironically, I just bought myself some charcoal earlier today. I thought I might be able to leave something worthwhile to the world as a painter before I died. Yes, I wanted to make one of those final masterpieces. I set up my easel. One hour passed. Two hours. Three hours. I had to put down the brush. Even if I managed to paint something, how would it be different from all the other garbage in this room? It would just be another piece of soulish trash, just like me all trash. I poured the coal into a basin and put it in the bedroom floor. I put on my best clothes. I carefully made my bed and I lit the coals. I tried the doorknob and realized that the door was not locked. I chuckled. That was careless of me. I double checked all the doors and windows making sure they had been locked and sealed. I couldn't take any chances. I lay down on my bed. All I could see was her face. Here I come, honey. Sorry for making you wait so long. God, I am ready. Please take me away. Win zero, zero in. I'm... 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 Dear God! I know I talked about needing tissues, but... I... Uh. Okay! Uh oh. I don't like this music either. The apartment building I had just moved into was quite old. Didn't have an elevator, so. Oh, she's in. It's. Oh, guy, he set the whole apartment building on fire! It didn't have an elevator, so I had to climb the, the stairs every day. As usual, it was already past midnight when I got back from the tennis practice. I noticed something on at my door as soon as I walked into the fourth floor hallway. Was that. A bouquet of roses? And the Sir Spotty toy I had seen at the arcade a few days ago. I had a sudden sinking feeling of anxiety. I had been getting strange emails starting the day before yesterday. This was the first one. I've been watching you for a long time. Right back to me. At first I thought maybe someone had sent it to the wrong address by accident. Or it could have been some random phishing email, so I didn't pay any attention to it. I'm disturbed. What am I getting into? But the next day I received another one. Please write back to me. I still have no idea what those weird symbols mean. They're faces, honey. And whoever had written these emails seemed to think we knew each other. My cell phone suddenly buzzed in my pocket. I had a new email. I clicked on the email app with, shaking, with a shaking finger. We shall finally meet soon. I couldn't understand those symbols, but the words in the middle. All of a sudden, I felt a chill down my back as if someone I was being watched by someone or something. But my body had frozen, and I didn't dare turn around. I looked in the reflection in the glass of the window in front of me, trying to see if there was anything behind me. There wasn't. I was just being paranoid. Still, I decided to go and spend the night at Jing's place just in case. I walked toward the staircase, but then I heard it. Footsteps, coming upstairs, closer and closer. 
Who could it be at this late hour? Could it be the one who'd written those emails? I immediately turned around and ran back towards my apartment. But I lived alone. What if they broke in? He could force me into the corner, pull a chainsaw out from behind him, and cut me into pieces. That's a little irrational, but still. No, oh God, no. I stopped at the door of my neighbor, room 414. I, I choose you. Help me. No matter how hard I knocked, nothing happened. I tried not to cry so much that I... Not, ugh, I tried not to cry so much that I wouldn't be heard, but tears were already streaming down my face. Calm down, Li Wen. The footsteps stopped at the fourth floor and were now moving toward me. There was only one more corner between us. It was too late to hide in my own apartment now. I held my tennis racket up. I swung it down as hard as I can with my eyes closed when the person arrived at the corner. The person I hit wobbled and fell down the stairs. It was Uncle Sun. He seemed to be just going around the building and picking up the trash. Uncle Sun was laying on the ground. He was not moving at all. Oh God, what have I done? God, please help me. Please, please. We win. Oh, <laughs> I'm already traumatized. What do I do? When there's more than one letter, white pieces can be moved left and right in addition to up and down. Uh, still, it will make the impact. It, yeah, since it will impact the fate of both people, you must be careful when making your decisions. Alright, well, we're gonna. We're gonna put that there. Okay. I can't seem to change his fate. What was that noise? I struggled to sit up on my bed, my head feeling like it was going to explode. Damn it, just a little longer and God would have taken me. Whoever made that noise, be it a burglar or a utility guy, I would never forgive them. Excuse me, sorry for the intrusion. I sneaked into my, neighbor, my neighbor's apartment. It was completely dark inside and smelled funny. It was so hard to breathe in this apartment. I wondered who would live in such a place. I shut the door right behind me. I accidentally knocked over some jars that were shoved next to the door, and they made some very loud noises. Still, nobody responded. I suppose there really wasn't anyone home. I looked out from the peephole while I held my breath. A thin, old humpback man walked past the door, and empty plastic bottles in his hands. It was just Uncle Sun, the manager. Phew. This one was easy, too. Hmm. As Shakespeare once said, security is mortal's chiefest enemy, which could mean that the overconfidence is man's greatest enemy. Shakespeare? What? Who? Shakespeare. He is one of the greatest writers in human history. Overconfidence is man's greatest enemy? Well, but I am no man. Okay. Then, do you remember this person's name? Uh, Win Zhao... Ugh, I have it on the tip of my tongue. Haha, <laughs> you should pay more attention. His name is Win Zhao Ren. Okay, I have a bad memory. I get your point. It's only easy because you're just getting started. You will see soon enough. That wasn't easy. What are you talking about? God! Did I keep him from dying? At least? Is it a mercy to have stopped him from committing suicide? I, I stopped her from being a murderer, at least. Holy shit. What's this yellow star mean? When you see a yellow star, that means you've unlocked all the possible endings of that particular event. Oh. Should I try to collect all the yellow stars? Oh no, that won't be necessary. Our job is just to help the humans with their troubles. No matter how many times we try or how many endings we unlock, for the humans there's only one ending to each that they will ever know. So it doesn't really matter whether or not you unlock all of the endings. In that case, what is the star there for? Well, I know you're asking me, but... 
to be honest, I don't really know. Okay, so I heard ding ding. Where's your mom? Ugh. When? Can you not, my dude? Someone had ruined my plan. Damn it. I sat up and realized I could barely stand. The entire room was spinning. I felt so nauseated that I almost threw up. Just a little longer and I could have seen her again. The room was completely dark since I hadn't been able to pay my utility bill for a while. I lifted my foot and tried to take a step, but I tripped over my easel. The brushes and paints fell all over the place. I crouched down and started to pick them up again. It took me a while as I was so exhausted. I put out the fire and opened a window. I stumbled upon my flashlight and pressed the button. Boom! I heard a deafening explosion. Was that a gas explosion? I thought I saw a slender figure of someone fall down in the fire before I passed out. When I woke up, the doctor told me there was a 17-year-old girl who had been sent to the hospital along with me. She hadn't made it. Fortunately, however, I was still alive. I had third-degree burns all over my body. I, am, I lost my right arm and couldn't speak. I couldn't even do something as simple as ask what the girl's name was. God, why? Why didn't you just kill me instead? Fuck! Don't open the window! Is... I'm trying to figure out why there was a gas explosion. Maybe that. And that way. I'm going to try it. Because the only thing I can think is that the fire... the fire caught on the oil? I don't know. Let's see what happens when I do it this way. I held up my flashlight. I made sure everything had been picked up and then walked toward the doorway. Click. Someone had just shut the door. I hurried up. Except there was nothing there except for a broken, worthless ceramic pot on the floor. I opened the door and looked out into the hallway. There was no one there either. I went back in, saw the remaining coals, and the smoke was still lingering in the room. I could still continue with the plan. I lit the coals again and closed the window. I climbed back into my bed. I felt my conscience leave my body as I started to enter another world. Well, that was a bad ending. Alright. Maybe that? I don't know. I'm just trying not to have him start a freaking oil fire. The night breeze was coming in through the window. I tried to take a deep breath, but I couldn't. Perhaps I spent too much time picking things up earlier. Had I been poisoned? I had the flashlight in my hand walking towards the doorway. I found a girl lying on the floor unconscious. Had she been poisoned too? Fuck. Suddenly remember the news story about people who had been killed by their neighbors by accident attempting suicide by burning coals. I wanted to go back and call an ambulance, but I could not breathe anymore. If I could at least open the door. I tried to figure the- uh, yeah, Fuck you. Okay. Let's try it that way. Huh? Some of the pieces are missing. Hmm. Sometimes this happens. In this letter, the previous development led to a gas explosion. As a result, Winzerin could not have been able to carry out the following actions. Therefore, the white pieces disappeared. Usually pieces will disappear when the subject of the actions described in the piece is no longer active. This could 
not only be confined to the sender of the letter, it could also be because the person of someone mentioned in the letter. Again, it depends. The important thing is to think about why they might disappear. I see. So it's still bad? I don't understand. The fire needs to go out first. Who's there? Ooh, that's scary. I pressed the button of my flashlight in a hurry and the white light almost blinded me. Ah! I saw a shadow fall to the ground. I quickly turned my light toward the sound and saw there was a girl I'd never met before. I checked to see if she was still breathing. She was. I remember a school picnic during my junior high years. I had done the same thing to scare a girl in my class. She didn't faint, even though I had done it intentionally. Kids today are so weak. I carried the girl to my ventilated bedroom, laid her down on my bed, and pulled the sheet over her. I went back to the living room and picked up my paintbrush. I tried to remember her panicking face when she saw me. I suddenly had a new feeling. A feeling that I could paint something special this time. And yet, I just fell asleep with the brush in my hand while leaning against the wall. God, that was scary! I don't want to see anything else like that ever again. Well, if you do want to see it again, you can. While you're reading the letter, press plus replay to review the entire letter again. I wonder, though, why can we see all these images? Aren't we just reading their letters? Technically, we are not receiving handwritten letters from humans. You can think of these letters as manifestations of their will. That's why they include more than the text you are reading. Sometimes we will receive the images of what they see, or even how they feel. Wow, that's really amazing. God, that was hard. Like, I couldn't think of a, a way to fix that. How did you feel? Oh, everything felt so unreal. Am I really a god? Have I always been living here? And has the sky outside always been so red? It's even snowing outside. The weather is so weird. I have no memories of any of this. Is any of this real? Of course. Don't worry about it. Your memories will come back to you slowly. Anyway, don't you think this job is perfect for you? And it isn't too hard either, is it? That's true. It's more interesting than I thought. While it is interesting indeed, it is also rather serious. From now on, I won't repeat myself anymore. Some of my previous instructions can be found in the help menu. This content in the help menu will also grow as you learn more about your job. However, you might not be able to find everything you need in there. For instance, if you forget or didn't pay attention to what I've told you, you might never be able to hear it again. So the truly important information as you see here will be highlighted in the orange text. Things in orange text are extremely important. When you see something in orange, you should slow down your reading and pay extra attention. Now, answer fast. Which of the following words were highlighted in orange when I just said? Wee. Okay, the orange text may appear not only in my words, but occasionally in the human's letters as well. The human letters might include text with other colors too, such as yellow and blue. The yellow text, they look the same. <laughs> the yellow text highlights digital messages in a text or email, while blue text highlights messages left in a fax or a note. The orange text, however, emphasize something else. I'll explain to you later when you see it. You won't remember it all if I say too much right now. In the end, you just need to remember that orange text is extremely important. Now, to make sure that you didn't just make a lucky guess earlier, we're going to have another quiz. Which of the following phrases were highlighted in orange text in my previous dialogue and what is their correct order? Okay. No. I think this is right? Uh, I didn't get it right. As long as you pay attention to the orange text, it will be very helpful in cleaning your task. In other words, if you don't, you are likely to get stuck in some of the more challenging tasks. We're going to restart the game now to teach you a lesson so that you understand how serious I am. Wait, what? Uh... 
Oh God. <sighs> Thank you. Well, I guess that's a good place to end for now. I, I'm slightly mortified and totally confused. So, yeah. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Sunachan, and keep your eye out for that next dose of fail.